Um, so the cyber truck. What are your thoughts about? I know you're trying to buy one, and uh, you know yes. you guys do it a little bit different than we do. We don't see the the in warranty cars for some time. So most of the stuff we work on is the legacy stuff, like the Roadster, and then the Model yeah. S now, and the Model X. But you actually get the new stuff, and you're able to tear it down. Yeah. How close are you to getting one of these cyber trucks now? Uh, not close enough. <laughs> I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to find somebody who's got uh, a low number that actually has got notification that it's coming. Um, I really, really want one of these things. Um, uh, we we do have uh, huge competitors. One's from India and one from uh, France, and um, they have billions to toss around. I do not have that kind of money, um, but I'm I'm. I'm really, really trying to get my hands on one. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be texting one of the guys out in Austin uh, to see if uh, see if we can maybe get something going with him. I'm uh, I'm uh, I really, really want to get one of those. And a matter of fact, we did a little uh, very short um, Monroe Live YouTube a second ago, or not a second ago, this morning. Uh, talking about uh, some some pictures that were taken underneath the uh, Tesla Cybertruck. Apparently, it was on the side of the road from uh, Electric, and um, and we did a little look at it. But it's not. There's nothing really extraordinary. Um, if you squint, you uh, there is one thing. Of course, it's got uh, all wheel drive. So, or sorry, four wheel drive. So, or four. It's it uh, it's it steers from the back and the front. I've forgotten what that term is, but anyways, um, so that that was kind of interesting to see how they put that together. But the rest of it looked uh, pretty much the same as what you'd find on a, on a Lightning or um, or a Ram. A Dodge Ram has air suspension systems, or the Rivian. It looks similar, except that they really uh, beefed up the uh, like where your air suspension. Um, uh, uh, bellows are they've they've put a great big giant stainless steel pipe to make sure that you don't smash uh smash your suspension system when you're going off-roading so i really appreciate that plus they've got some um it looks like carbon fiber uh crash shields to make sure that if you bump into something it's going to take out a part in the suspension that you'd really like to keep <laughs> So yeah, it looks pretty good. I, I I have five on order, which I'm willing to trade off to anybody that uh, that can uh, help me out with an early one. So I heard there's one guy. Uh, it was at the um, uh, the Tesla Roundup. I think you were talking to him yeah. or, or, or had heard, but he's got 53 of them on order. Is that right? Yeah, actually, one's got 53. Another guy's got 200 on order. 100. I mean, that's man. If they all come in at the same time. <laughs> he might he might be willing to give up one or two of them. So um, yeah. I I'd really like to get one, like real soon, as soon as I could possibly get it. I'd like to have one. Maybe uh, maybe one of your <clears throat> contacts there uh, who owns a Roadster uh, has uh, has one coming up. Usually people are buying two or three at a crack. It's not one. Yeah. So, <clears throat> well, you know, you've been doing this a long time, but. <clears throat> It seems to me that if a manufacturer is proud of a product, that they would be willing to give companies like yours a product to do a teardown. Have you ever had that happen? We've been offered. Um, I turned it down. Uh, the reason for that is it's very difficult to be um, uh, unbiased, unbiased if, um, yeah. if somebody gave you something. So we kind of steer clear of that kind of stuff. Um, but we've been offered uh, by a couple, three European companies, um, and uh, I, uh, I don't want to lose the what credibility we got. <laughs> I don't want to toss that out the window. Um, however, yeah. however, <laughs> if Elon said, hey, Sandy, you want one? <laughs> you watch how fast <laughs> all that credibility shit goes out the window. <laughs> as long as I can say whatever I want. Um, he he'd be the only one yeah. that would he'd be the only guy that may not have any strings attached but i uh i i'd really like to get one and uh i know 
half the planet wants to know, you know, is it as good as everybody thinks it is and stuff like that. Um, I'm personally thinking that um, the reason it's so late to market is because they they did so much, um, I don't know what you'd call it, extra safety work and whatnot. That one that was left at the side of the road had things, markings on it that said it was from New Zealand. So in this time of the year, that's the only place you can get where it's really cold is like way, way south yeah. in uh, in New Zealand or Tierra del Fuego in, uh, in uh, South America. And even then, it's not... Tierra del Fuego is cold, but not really cold. The only other spots in Antarctica, and I don't think you're allowed to do cold weather testing there. So the best thing you can do is go to the down to the lower tip of uh, New Zealand, uh, like the southern tip, and um, in the winter time, <clears throat> and it gets plenty cold down there. I'm told. I've never been there when it was cold, but uh, but um, it, it's it's the spot that everybody uses in the winter time. And, you know, I suppose if that was a situation where the manufacturer was so proud of their product that they realized you were going to give them glowing reports um, and you wrote into the contract that you had complete freedom to, uh, you know, assess it and give an honest appraisal, even with all of that in place, I think that it would still affect your reputation or your credibility because people would immediately assume that you're being biased because you were given a free vehicle, basically. Mm. Well, <clears throat> um, at the end of the day, um, you know, we do, uh, we do get, uh, not cars, but we do get other things that we've looked at <clears throat> and we were allowed to, uh, we got them because you can't buy them. They're not in the marketplace yet and whatnot. And we've given unbiased opinions on what we saw and, and did. And that's, we have contracts that, that will, you know, provide for something like that if it's not in the marketplace. Uh, right. So testing different kinds of battery chemistries or technologies and things like that, things that, mm, you know, you, you can't buy them. And, um, yeah. and that, that truly is uh, something that, um, that's the only way we can uh, keep ahead. But the contract is very explicit. If this turns out to be shit, too bad. We, we right. can't help out. Um, you've given it to us on the uh, pretext that we can say whatever we want, and, uh, and we will. And so some people know about that. Most people know. We, we'll usually say, hey, we got this from XYZ, and we'll go from there. <clears throat> and so far, that's worked out just fine. Um, a couple of times we were asked not to give the review because it was so horrifically bad. Um, and uh, you know what? Sometimes, uh, you know, you got to swallow hard and say, okay, we wasted four or five days testing something, and then we did a, a YouTube, and, and we looked at it and said, ooh, we better tell these guys about this, and then we didn't put it up. Yeah. I yeah. mean, we we found uh, a number of things there. <clears throat> and then sometimes we got cars that, uh, they came from somewhere else. Um, sometimes, a, uh, sometimes a wrecking yard or whatever. And we've torn those apart and went, Oh my God. Uh, so we, what we did was in order to not look like we're out there chasing ambulances, we took all the data, packaged it up, sent it to the highest ranking guy we could find at whatever that company was and said, you have a problem and that's uh mm -hmm. well we've we found two cars like that and uh, a number of other uh battery powered uh products like bicycles yeah i uh i'm not interested in having uh anybody's death on my conscience because i found out something and didn't say anything to the ro I'm, i won't be a you know i'm not going to throw them under the bus but i am going to tell them hey you know what you have a problem you better fix it and I mean, like, right this very second, or we'll take it to Nishta. Yeah, again, you know, you see um, fine craftsmanship at times, and then other times you just kind of shake your head and you say, they use drywall screws, you know, to fasten up body panels. 
and um, you know jerry rig this and uh, you know steel cable or wire to uh, you know hold things in place. Um, yeah, there's there's there are a wide range of skills out there, and uh, you know what I'm always telling our guys, our mechanics is. You know, the work that you do is a testament to your skills. And at some point in time, someone's going to look at that. And what you want to have them say is, these guys are first class. They are right. craftsmen. Yeah. And then, of course, like you say, um, you know, these are four to 5,000 pound missiles that are hurtling down the freeway at 70, 80 miles an hour. And yeah. you don't want to be that guy that cut corners and a family died because you got to live with that the rest of your life. Exactly right. I, uh, uh, we, we have uh, our hiring uh, techniques here is uh, it's hard to get into Monroe, and uh, but it's easy to get out if you um, if you don't if you don't do what uh, you know we think is the proper job for the customer. Um, uh, at Monroe, I don't know if I want to go into, but anyways, at Monroe, if, um, if you are called out by another associate, um, he can fire you, he or she can fire you. And we've had that happen right. in the past where, uh, some guy came in on paper, he looked great. Then he worked with, uh, one of our guys and they said, uh, uh-uh. uh, and, uh, that was the end of that. And we've had we've had that happen quite a few times. Actually, not so much lately because we're our screening now. We've got a HR person, and our screening process is quite good. But in the past, we've had a couple of surprises that we just couldn't abide, and uh, and so consequently, they went um, they went away. Yeah. 